Barry Smith. I'm chairman of the Thorner Victory Hall Management Committee. The Victory Hall was built in the early 1920s, pursuant to the First World War, but over the last 15, 20 years, it became apparent that the building was deteriorating um, and needed a lot doing to it to bring it up to 21st century standards, really. Well, I'm Peter Dickerson. I'm the architect uh, for the project. It's gradually run down. Mostly that's due to lack of funding um, and lack of a, a revenue base. And of course, what happens is as the hall gets more dilapidated, less people want to use it. I'm Thomas Wingfield and I'm a, a member of 1020 Musical Youth Theatre Company. The initial reactions when we went to Thorner were just shock at the kind of the state of the hall. Now we, we liked it because of the size of the place, but the hole was kind of a bit of a mess. There was a play that we did, so when we did Seven Brides, the roof was leaking the whole time. And we had this article in the newspaper and like jokes about it and things, but literally just the rest of the hole was just kind of falling apart. And we still managed to put on this amazing kind of spectacle. My name's Ros Ramsey. I'm the secretary of the Victory Hall Committee. I think if you live in a village, you have a responsibility to a village as well. And I think, if you want things to happen, you know that you've got to actually contribute and, and pull your weight and help. And I suppose, if I'm honest, uh, you know, quite a few of the people are retired people that do have more time, and they've benefited for things that have gone on in the village. So, in some ways, it's a little bit of payback time as well. It will attract a whole new cast of people, and uh, the you sort of broaden your horizons with the, with the state of the hall now. I enjoy going there for rehearsals anyway, but it's going to be great if you're around a new place and I think I'll definitely enjoy it a lot more with the, with the new renovations going on. So the current phase is really doing the interior of the building, now it's been made watertight, um, to do the auditorium, to put a new ceiling in with insulation, replaster all the walls, redo the stage, putting in a lighting rig. It's great to get a proper lighting rig in there and the, the gantry more than anything and it'll make, it just makes it look more aesthetically pleasing just seeing that rather than just a big wooden box thing that everyone stood on the back and just looks a bit slapdash. But now it looks fantastic. Since the scaffolding was taken out at the weekend, we can actually now begin to see the impact of what's been uh, achieved over the uh, last couple of months. Um, it's a shame you can't see what it looked like before, but you, you, you would be stunned, I think, by the transformation that's taken place. It brings people together and there's a real community feel in Thorna. And I think as the hall has gradually deteriorated, um, you know, that's, that's tailed off. But I think there's been a real uh, rejuvenation in the spirit in the village because we've had to do a lot of fundraising for the hall. And, uh, you know, there's a real buzz about the place now. But I think that actually, you know, is a lot down to having a hall like this.